Hello, in this video we're going to look at two firms engaged in collusion that are producing differentiated goods. Two firms that produce differentiated goods collude or form a cartel to maximize joint profit. Firm 1 has the inverse market demand that looks like this. Q subscript 1 is firm 1's output, Q subscript 2 is firm 2's output. And firm 1's total cost of production is given as follows. And here we have firm 2. Firm 2's inverse market demand is given as follows. Q subscript 1 is firm 1's output and Q subscript 2 is firm 2's output. And here is firm 2's cost function. Cost equals 25 times the output of firm 2. We're going to form joint profit here. We're going to create a joint profit equation. So profit is, joint profit is going to be the revenue of firm 1 minus the cost of firm 1 plus the revenue of firm 2 minus the cost of firm 2. And so we're going to make a substitution in for P subscript 1. We're going to plug in 100 minus 2Q subscript 1 minus Q subscript 2. And that's all multiplied by firm 1's output. So that is the revenue of firm 1. And then we're subtracting the cost of production for firm 1 right here. And then we do a similar thing here for Firm 2. Firm 2's revenue is price times quantity. So the price here for Firm 2 is the 95 minus Q subscript 1 minus the 3 Q subscript 2 equation. And that's all multiplied by Firm 2's output. And once again, we subtract out Firm 2's cost. Rewriting that joint profit equation. Now we're going to take a couple partial derivatives. First one is the partial derivative of the profit function with respect to Firm 1's output. So the derivative of 100 times q subscript 1 is 100. The derivative of minus 2q subscript 1 times q subscript 1 is minus 4q subscript 1. And lastly, the derivative or partial derivative of minus q subscript 2 times q subscript 1 is just minus q subscript 2. And then we take the partial derivative of the cost function here, and we get back minus 5q subscript 1. And then the last thing we need to be concerned about is this minus Q subscript 1 being multiplied by this Q subscript 2. Uh, the partial derivative of that is just minus Q subscript 2, and we're maximizing, so we set this result equal to 0. And now I'm going to just solve this equation here for Q subscript 1. So the minus 4Q subscript 1 plus the minus 5Q subscript 1, we get the minus 9Q subscript 1. And dividing through by 9 and moving some things around, we have this equation here. Next, you take the partial derivative of this joint profit function with respect to firm 2's output. And so uh, the first part here, we got this minus Q subscript 2 multiplied by Q subscript 1. Partial derivative of that with respect to Q subscript 2 just leaves us with minus Q subscript 1. I uh, don't have to do anything with this term here, uh, the firm 1's cost function. Uh, then over here, this 95 times Q subscript 2, the partial derivative of that with respect to Q subscript 2 is 95. And then we get minus Q subscript 1 times Q subscript 2. That leaves us with minus Q subscript 1. And then lastly, this minus 3Q subscript 2 times Q subscript 2 leaves us with... And then we have this minus 25Q Q subscript 2 just becomes minus 25 after taking the partial derivative, setting that all equal to 0. And this time we're going to solve for Q subscript 2. So collecting some terms here. Dividing through by 6, we have an expression for firm 2's output. Top equation here, I'm going to substitute in for Q subscript 2. I'm going to plug in this 70 divided by 6 minus this 2Q subscript 1 divided by 6. So making that substitution and now solving for Q subscript 1. And getting a common like denominator over here. Uh, so... This leaves us with the following, and let's multiply everything through by 54, simplifying. Firm 1's output is 9.2 units. For Firm 2's output, we're going to take this 9.2 and plug it into this function over here. And we see that Firm 2 will produce 8.6 units of output. So in terms of the price that Firm 1 will charge, we'll take its, its uh, inverse demand and we'll evaluate it 
where Q subscript 1 equals 9.2 and firm 2's output equals 8.6 and firm 1 will sell 9.2 units at $73 each. As for firm 2's price, we take firm 2's inverse demand and we evaluate it at the 9.2 and 8.6 units of output and firm 2 will charge $60 each for its 8.6 units of output that it produces. All right, that's it.